Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor. This is a story I've been wanting to cover, but I wanted to wait until the whole story was told. Uh, an actor was uh, doing a Zoom audition when a director slammed his apartment uh, and the video clip went viral. The actor was Lucas Gage, which if you're unfamiliar with who that is, uh, he starred in uh, Euphoria, American Vandal, uh, the Love Simon spinoff over on Hulu, Love Victor. Uh, look, he's a working actor, done a lot of uh, supporting roles in sitcoms and some shorts and stuff, clearly doing his best to get his name out there. And this clip definitely got his name out there. Uh, it's an embarrassing clip to watch, and it's a controversial clip because some people are saying, well, why would you release this? This is sort of the untold thing of actors, directors. This is really putting the director on blast. Why would you? However, many actors, directors have come to his side to say, no, I'm so glad you did. Uh, it's so uh, vulnerable for actors already to put themselves out there. And so when directors think they're muted on a Zoom call, trashing the actor or the apartment, uh, it's good you call them out because we all need to be better, especially especially in the time we're living right now, where actors are bringing the you know auditions into their homes. They didn't ask for this. Uh, so uh, what's interesting is a lot of people speculate on who this director was. Now we know. Before I get there, though, in case you haven't watched this embarrassing clip, let's watch. Now, this is uh, uh, Lucas on a Zoom call audition that he recorded, because I guess Zoom does record them either way if you set it up that way. Uh, and so he's on there, and the director hasn't muted himself. So you're going to hear the, the British director talking about Lucas's apartment. These poor people live in these tiny apartments. Like I'm looking at his, you know, background, and he's got his TV and and you know. Yeah, mute it. I know it's a shitty apartment. That's why give me this job so I can get a better one. All right. Um, <laughs> ready? Oh my god, I'm so so sorry. No, it's Lucas. totally. Li listen, I'm living I'm in a. So sorry. I'm living in a four by four box. It's fine. Just give me the job, and we'll be no, fine. I, I'm more. <laughs> I'm mortified. Uh, but uh, kudos for Lucas for handling it so cool under pressure, for not letting it get any worse, for telling the guy he's on, oh, you're unmuted. Uh, yeah, I know. It's a crappy place. You know, help me get the job so I can be better. He handled it with total class. Uh, and, the, and the director clearly just is upset he got caught because – yeah, he clearly sounds like a jerk. Uh, but a lot of stars came to his defense. Uh, uh, Sydney Sweeney, oh my God, I can't even. Uh, also, your apartment looks better than mine. Can I move in? Uh, you posted it. His co-star couldn't believe that he actually shared the video because clearly he had been sharing this around town uh, with others. Sorry, I'm just trying to zoom in so you can see these. Uh, and then uh, uh, here was another Maude Apatow, Judge Apatow's daughter. Lucas, I can't, I can't breathe. Her sister Iris, ha ha ha. Oh, what an a-hole their mom leslie ah so clearly because he you know it, it has worked with them they they clearly knew what was happening with this uh and then continued judd apatow chimes in as a young man i would have dreamed of an apartment like this one uh look at that sweet flat screen the guitar the moldings uh he's right a lot of poor out of work actors don't get to have flat screens or guitars or apartments with crown molding i, I think judd apatow's don't always agree with him but he's he's funny in that comment uh paul mescal his normal people actor commented what the f builder a uh, will of Ravana rama from the 70s show your class act onward this director officially has an expiration date. sophie turner of game of thrones that's effed up many other celebrity, uh, celebrities praise lucas over his response to the director uh joe jonas commented handled like a champ uh zelda williams robin williams's daughter i believe right i think that's who that is yeah uh because he was a zelda fan so sad lost we lost him uh but zelda williams uh, who directed lucas in the new horror film kappa kappa die right kappa kappa die great title uh since lucas is going viral on film Twitter for being the graceful, quick thinking sweetheart he is. I'd like to add for any non a hole directors looking at, uh, he's also a delight to work with, funny, talented, and a blast on set. Hire this man. Uh, SNL uh, legend Molly Shannon said, You handled this so well, uh, who stars in the upcoming HBO series The White Lotus. What a lousy thing of him to say. And here you are putting yourself out there for your audition, vulnerable, wanting to get the part, etc. Lucas replied to Molly, I love you. Thank God I didn't get the part because I would have been working with you. I I wouldn't be working with you in Hawaii right now. Kiss emoji. So, look, it all worked out for for the reason he didn't get this part, and I, probably for the best because this director clearly uh, <laughs> would have been awkward on set. Now, who is the director? January Jones had chimed in and said, oh, I think I know who. And then a lot of people connected to that to Matthew Vaughn, who they have some sort of alleged past with. Uh, and so a lot of people were are pointing the finger at X-Men director for, you know, at kick-ass uh, Matthew Vaughn. Uh, some people saying, oh, it has to be Matthew Vaughn. He's like this. So uh, 
it wasn't Matthew Vaughn. Someone else finally did step up. It's a director I was unfamiliar with. He's a TV director, uh, but his name is Tristan Shapiro. Uh, and he has now put out an apology to Deadline to finally uh, address this. So uh, he uh, is a British-born, uh, writing exclusively to Deadline, provides his account of the infamous audition, apologizes to Gage, and provides context for some of the wording in his insensitive remarks. Uh, he's a profile, uh, prophilic, prophilic TV director who's worked on such series as The Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt, Brooklyn Nine nine and never have I ever uh, he explains why he decided to speak out and what he will take away from the zoom debacle you probably don't know who I am but you're likely familiar with my story an actor Lucas Gage posted a clip on social media taken from a zoom casting he and I had been part of uh, back in August during it an unmuted director makes reference to tiny apartments and these poor people referring to actors the quick-witted Gage responds that he knows his apartment is Essie uh, and that he needs his this job so he can get a better one since Gage posts the video and has millions of views he has received some support from all corners of the acting world and many of his fans initially the director was not identified although uh, there was much speculation about who was which ultimately proved correct despite what is probably uh what, what is probably wise advice say the least possible and let this pass i have decided to come forward take responsibility make the apology mr gage deserves and offer some background for my unacceptable and insensitive remarks i am tristan shapiro a 20 year old veteran tv director half in the uk and second half here in the u.s first and foremost i offer mr mr gage a sincere and unvarnished apology for my offensive words and my unprofessional behavior Behavior during the audition and for not giving him the focus and attention he deserved. My job is to evaluate performers against the part I'm trying to cast. Lucas deserved better. The Zoom audition took place in August. After four months of lockdown, a number of my coworkers were also in the audition, which happened over several days. It was emotional to see actors work so hard to win the few parts available, and we were deeply moved by the passion of these young people under the extraordinary circumstances. I was using the word poor in the sense of deserving sympathy, as opposed to any economic judgment. My words were being spoken from a genuine place of appreciation for what the actors were having to endure, stuck in confined spaces, finding it within themselves to give a role worthy, uh, role-winning performance under these conditions. As I say on the video, I'm mortified about what happened. While I can't put the proverbial toothpaste back in the tube, I move forward with this in in incident, a more empathetic man, a more focused director, and I promise an even better partner to actors from the audition process to the final cut. With humility and gratitude, Tristan Shapiro. Uh, and so here's the video again, which he had said, PSA, if you're a S talking, uh, crap talking director, make sure to mute your mic on Zoom meetings. <laughs> face uh so look uh, good on tristan for coming out taking you know taking the l and making the apology he uh, sure i guess he could be saying all these poor people uh he's still looking down upon them uh so i i, I wish he had taken this part out and just not tried to explain what he meant just own it dude you got caught just own it you clearly were calling out the dude in his poor apartment and these poor people and, and sure maybe he was coming from a place of love but why point out the tv and stuff you, why would you call out the small tv I mean, you're caught when you not only said that, but then, yeah, look at his little flat screen. I mean, it's his, his flat screen TV. Like, what does that have to do with the poor, the poor people and their stri and their strife? Come on, we, can, we we heard the whole thing. You got caught, and I appreciate the apology. Good on you. We should all take accountability and apologize when we do something wrong or we're caught. And he could have just let this go away, and Lucas probably never would have called him. But people in the industry all knew who this was. Clearly, um, a lot of people did at least. Some people were also the pointing towards other directors like Matthew Vaughn. So good on Tristan for coming forward to make sure that they didn't point it someone too long in the wrong direction. Cause I was starting to believe maybe it was Matthew Vaughn. Another obviously point to all always be careful of not just believing what you read on the internet. Uh, but to Lucas, was this the right thing to do? I'm going to bring this up tonight on change our minds. It's Tuesday night. We're always talking about fun topics. Is this the best way to do it? Is this a no, no in acting? Does this make a director want to be careful of working with Lucas? Cause he might call someone out or was this justified? Personally, I think it was justified. It's a funny clip. Uh, it is stuff tough, tough on lockdown. Dude, don't get caught on unmuted trash talk on the dude or his apartment. You're then going to get caught on blast, and I think rightfully so. So I, I think kudos to Lucas, and I think kudos to people who stood up for him, and hopefully we see him getting some more work. But what do you think? Tell me down in the comments below. Also, while you're there, before you leave that comment, smash that subscribe button, hit all alerts, smash the like button, and then you can go down and leave a comment on what your thoughts are on Lucas and this topic. Uh, thanks so much for watching. We got Again, like I'll be said, it's Tuesday night. We're always live Tuesdays and Thursday nights, 9 p.m. So come and join us. I'll put the link down there, or you can click to the right and watch my video about Chappelle. It's crazy. Go watch that next. Thanks for watching, everybody.